right. something. What's up, guys? Eight here, my boy Hayden. Just finished up locals, and what place you get? Uh, like, second, the second or first? That was X O one. Yeah. So undefeated. Basically, yeah. yeah, yeah. What you play? Uh, punk. Pure punk. That's not pure. I thought. Oh, so, we'll, we'll, we'll show, I'll show you. It's, all right, it's all right. Basically pure. Uh, so three of these guys. All the. Punks. You may be asking what these cards do. They all say get to Zayaman. So you play all of them. Yep. And then, Ooh, two of this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And two of this guy. This is actually the best card in your deck. This is the reason why your deck has legs. So you need to play two of it. Also, if they get rid of the one, you want to have one for next turn. Wait, if your deck has legs, can it walk away from you mid-match? Yeah. This is, this, is a, this is the punk engine. Um, What's this one doing? I tried to make this. This is the impom, and then this is the pop. This one is the worst, is like kind of worse because you have to have a punk on the board to pop any card. Otherwise, you can only pop a set card. Uh, you said pop up. But, but you want this card for um, trap decks. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, also, like, you can hit like weird things. Like, you can hit like the cashier field spell, both. It comes up. Um, yeah. Team like two of this, because like, you don't really want to draw a wagon or this, but these cards are good to draw. Mm, so, that's fair. These cards are better than the less that they know about them, I guess. So. And even if you draw these, it's not even bad because you can like. So many games, you're like, someone's a man, and then you're like, someone another guy, and then you just tribute it and make second like, punish Punisher. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like, just, I've never resolved like, that just, effect. I feel like forget it has it. it. Yeah. yeah, just tribute them. Yeah, it comes up. It comes up a lot. Make rank eight. You can make rank, rank eights too. Yeah. Uh, this is the other, like, extendo I play in the deck. Is this the only gold pride yeah. card you play? It, it, oh, so it's just like... why I consider it a PO. So the reason why I play it, it's level eight, uh, and you can summon if you have less life than your opponent. Uh, and then you can give the opponent a token. The token can't be the Zinc material, so they can't like... Oh, your life points have to be lower, but that makes sense. You, you just don't want something on it, and then you can do it. Yeah. I was about to freak out because I didn't notice that, and I you give them a token, so I was like, yo, we could play this in the Runic for higher deck. Because you give them a card, then you could pop it and then draw more. But yeah. no, no, you gotta have lower um, life. But you get a token, and they can't be the Zinc material, so it's really nice because you activate this card against Kestio and you just win. Oh, that's actually sick. And you give them a, a token, so you can't get evenly matched, like 9 times out of 10. So it's like really strong. Um, but then against... Oh, you said they can't link with it. So yeah, they never can't even, they can't even like Donna it or Lingo Ebo it or anything. Um, it comes up. Like, this card's like really nice. Um, also, like going second, like you can just summon this card and like summon Zayam and summon this card. Mm. Make like an punish you up, push steel board. Looks like, like it also has a pop effect. Do you ever leave it for that or no? Um, yeah, so you can also, during, the, during your punch main phase, you can uh, target one of the tokens and pop it. And then pop and then, adjacent, and adjacent, adjacent So if it's like, if it's heal, you can pop extra monster zone, side, and then also the back row. It can also pop spells and traps. Cards like so that this, are weird. It punishes people for not knowing what they do. They're yeah. just like, it's really nice against like the like even like trap chick and whatnot and like all the other decks because you can like you can put you summon your monster and the extra monsters so they have to summon a heal and then you give them a token underneath it so you can like pop it. Oh that's cool. That's dirty actually. But against catch two you just activate and they can't win. They have to like they have to like dog pull it or they have to go like talents or like thrust set dog pull, activate dog pull. I like that card a lot, honestly. Holy. And two cosmic cyclone and a cold buy. Uh, this is to synergize with the gold pride card, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, I want my back row move on the main deck because, like, this card's nice, but like, I play against Chapter today, like twice. Mm. So, like, you just get book them. Like, even against Chapter or against um, Labyrinth deck, they're just gonna summon like active traps and stop this from summoning. So, just having this is really nice. And the, the normal traps, you can like summon a monster. They're gonna act a normal trap. You can chain cosmic, hit another one. Um, you also have to play against like skill drain, so it comes up. Does cold bar feel good to you right now? Um, I like it. Like your your deck sometimes you just sometimes you just need to have side of resolve mm -hmm. or like diffusion. Um, and you also just said it's just a defensive card. It's good. Yeah, Cause like I know I play it in uh, Despia, but you have to because you could lose to Ash. But I didn't know how like this deck deck, feels because a lot of Ash. times I don't really act with the fusion guy. Um, a lot of times I'm just like getting the level eight something Juno and then like sinking from there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And these are like the defensive cards. It's like the reason why the deck's so good is because the deck gets to play like such a low amount of like this is all your engine and then the rest of the cards yeah. are just whatever. These are like the searchable defensive cards. And this, then is, these are, like, this is searchable too, right? So there's like yeah, engine requirement the, kind of. And then three evil match in the main. Holy, this is, is a lot actually. Um, yeah, like dude, your deck can fit so, your deck can fit so yeah. much, and like this card's good against like mid-range decks, even like like all the best decks right now, catch two and everything. And then this is just like good against back row decks, but like I think you just need it because these cards are all good against back row decks, or like uh, combo. combo decks. And then these are good against like back row decks. But they also right now in this format trade decently into the combo. Yeah, deck. So this card's also really good because like literally like I've activated this card against um. 
What's that called? Um, Dark World. And they've activated the fusion spell. You can banish the fusion spell. So that they can't loop it back um, later? Yeah. You can also hit the field spell, which is like way better. Um, you can hit the Castillo field spell. You can hit both. You can hit like a bunch of cards. Um, this is versatile. You can hit it has something bang. to do against every yeah. matchup. You didn't think it's Jack, like you, you can banish Chaos Space, I guess. Like, it comes up. Like, they're, they're in their field spells. Yeah, like, you can hit field spell. Um, uh, Link Monsters, this is my extra deck, just Link Monsters. I please pick four of them. Wait, this is your extra deck? This ain't the side? No, 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 no. What's this for? So for when you make the, uh, do you play any fusion outside of the pump one? No, but the reason, but you just make it, you can like, if you already make this guy, you can like, you just affect someone, do you know, Wagon, Wagon Search, make this, bring back this with do you know, and then bring back another guy and make a level 11. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can also like, you can also just make back, make Unicorn, and then make access code. Like, you just, you get like an easy way to make access code without mm -hmm. having to commit extra resources. Kind of like your version of Helky Firebrax to get an extra body yeah. or like a charmer or something? Uh, one of this, uh, um, this is the guy that distributes summon two from your deck. Um, it's like the it's like the, the weakest part of the deck because you can just ash it. But a lot of times, if your hand's good enough, you just not. Yeah, if you go for it, it's the choke point. But if they don't have the out to it, you're going crazy. Or if you like no, if they like actually like ash veil on your cards, and you can probably make it because the odds of them having another hand check really low. Um, two of this, two of this. Two Punisher. Oh, you, you don't want to lose stuff like this to the um, cash extra deck. Yeah, against Cash Tila, it's like you just need like you need. I've made like. Both of these are all game. So even if it's like not cash two, you're gonna make this card. Um, Do a lot of decks struggle to out this right yes. now? Yes. Trap tricks, like can't beat this card. Uh, cash two, can't really beat this card. Um, I almost, I'm about to play three of this card in my deck. A mere jade outs it, right? I don't have to worry. Or is it unaffected? It's, it's, it, it can't be affected by uh, okay. activated effects. Um. I, I can kaiju it. That's my only. Yeah, out. you can kaiju it. I'll, but I'll like, draw the out. I want to play three because like. I honestly, I'm gonna probably, I'm probably gonna cut the cross sheet for a third one because like. Does the third come up or does the second come up and they the, take one? The third usually? comes up. Usually it's because like you play, you make two of this card as my, as my end board. And if, two. Yeah, and, and the reason why is because if you make, if you go, if you go evenly match, you get rid of one. If you have a second one, you actually they're gonna like they're gonna check out this card, especially without a battle phase. There's like no way to out this card without like a battle phase in like 90 percent of the decks because they have to like crash into it, make the life points lower, mm -hmm. then out it with like unicorn or access code. Um, Oh, yeah, because if the life point deficit happens, then it can be affected. Yeah, exactly. So, like, if you ever elite match, you can't, like, attack over it. So, you're just like, okay, make another one next time. Like, I'm probably going to play three of it. I think it's just the best way to play it. Um, also, like, the cashier, they can out the one, but they can't out two. So, you're kind of just like, do you, I guess I got to see the rest of the extra first, but do you put up interruptions on your end board, or is your end board, like, a, are your hand traps the interruptions, and this is just, like, Trying um, to play through my hand traps in this Punisher. Usually it's like you make like, you just make like, a lot of times I'm making this and then... Any level 8 and share a Kusai. You can also end on this to make this on your opponent's done. Like... I see, so you got it, like a, a um, million bounce. Yeah, you do this because like, it, this is like a, the worst play because you lost to uh, Lava Golem because they like Lava Golem these two and then this like doesn't do anything. But now if they have just, they'll just... Well, I'd explain Gamma Seal now because of the Rise Heart. They'll just like a Rise Heart set. Yeah. So they're playing Kaiju now. So if you play make two of this, they don't have an out. They have to like Kaiju evenly match it. They have to evenly match, you keep one Kaiju it. But like, and if you play a third one, it doesn't even matter. And then you hope your hand traps are enough. But the Gamma Seal, when you make this ball, you can still fuse off these guys. You can also fuse off the Gamma Seal they give you into the game. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Um, and then the, these monsters. Oh, dang. Um, Galaxy Eye. Is this what people hit in Cash Tira? Do they um, just, like, hit everyone hits the fusion. Oh. And it's like fusion. fine. <laughs> You're barely making it anyways. Yeah. Um, if it was that point, I would be playing too, is my idea. Oh, the standings just went up. You got first. Spawn oh, yeah. got second. Ball, ball. Get shit it on. Um, so these all have different like uh, utility cards. Um, this is like for going second because you summon this and the card attack, detach, make this, like, win the game basically. Um, and then um, this is just for like play around nib. Sometimes your hands are actually play around nib a lot with this. And then this um, is good against things like uh, lightning storm, uh, dark cold stuff like that. Thrust. Uh, um, yeah, like I said, the end boards a lot of times, like, either it's either both double of this, which is why I want to play three because you make two of this and you out both of them. You, you want to have another one, yeah. yeah.
Because, like, no matter what, they're going to struggle to out at least one of them, unless you open Gamma to Healing Match, which is, like, short. That's the like, FTK against I, you. It's going to happen sometimes, but probably barely. But even if you match Kaiju, you have a third one. Like, if you play a third one, so I'm, I probably got my third one. I probably got the Kashi for it. Just don't need it. Side deck time? Yeah. The real sauce. Oh, what? Why? What's this one for? Back or something? It's good against Runic. Runic? You summon it, uh, you summon it, attack it with Nat Beast, pop, uh, feel spell. That's kinda cool. So also, if you get any vision check, like Spike Teeth, you summon it, attack it with Toad, pop, uh, Banish Guy, pop, uh, the Banish Trap, whatever it's called. The Banish Spell, whatever it's called. Smasher? Smasher. I barely know it. Three Dark Hole. Uh, oh, Not Ogeki, bro? What's it for? Uh, uh, it's supposed to lock up, I play Ogeki. <laughs> Just, I explained it because it lock, but it lock doesn't exist anymore, so I'm probably not going to play it. Uh, I just ended up signing a change by his side deck, honestly. Oh, you did? How do you know? It being Dark Hole didn't really matter, so like, uh, Dusto. The reason why I play this, by the way, is because you have five cards against back row. You only play the Evil Match, you have five cards against back row. Um, you main two Cosmic, is there a case to make one of these the third Cosmic, or do you prefer it being these? Well, no, these are just like, more, like these are more impactful, I think, against a trap deck later against, on. Against me. Ooh. The the one thing with cosmic, I feel like uh against Co against labyrinth they have protection to destruction sometimes against uh runic they have it sometimes so I feel like the, these if they resolve are definitely higher impact but the cosmic's just a little more consistent like that's why you that, choose the main that's why I play right? in the main deck because like it hits every deck no matter what but so you like, wouldn't consider the third in the side anyway activating twin on like the Kashtua field spell it's, to yeah, just deal really bad so like this card just always comes up but you wouldn't want to put the third in over any no, of these no because like you just want, I just want to play like five bomb cards because like so this is five bomb cards against like back row decks and then Along you go evenly too, five eight. bomb cards against monster Combo. decks. Yeah, that's fair. And you like, and it's just a side deck pattern. Um, the beast judgment. The going first sauce. Yeah. That lowers your life, so you're feeling good. Yeah, the amount of times I've like judgment this is like nuts because they're like, if you do make this kind of easy match, you're like judgment. Yeah, holy. They, they, they can't kill you. You're at two k. Next turn you go effect attack. Win like, the game, holy. Yeah, um, and DPR is also, I like both of these because like, this card can protect this card and like vice versa, like this can protect other cards, so it's nice. And this card you can just chain, this card's like really dumb. Um, Against Branded, they ever cross out your D barrier? No, they have. I've been, I've been lucky enough to know about that misfortune. Um, I also know, don't know how much I like cross out on that. Anyway, that's a little different there. Um, yeah, you basically you're just gonna side out five like hand traps against like the trap decks because like these cards all suck against trap decks. Yeah. Especially like these and like Impum. Ash might keep in, but like everything else, and you, you put them in for like whichever back row deck you need them for, or main deck, uh, or monster uh, deck. Do you have any uh, final thoughts or anything? Um, second game punch is broken. I, okay, every night, every time that I summon that card, both games, like two of them, and I won. Like, They'll, 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 they'll spend th like four cards out the first one and you summon another one. I'm I mean, glad I dodged you because I don't know how I'd efficiently out it. The only thing, you have to like make Dragoon, make it 4k beat over it. But even then you just activate the effect to make it bigger. Like, yeah, or you just don't negate anything. And then yeah. I just lose it. So like, um... Also, Cosmic also pay life when it comes up. Yeah, it's, it is like, awesome. being able to like push through a board and also apply pressure more with this comes up a lot. Um, that's dirty. That's dirty. Not a lot of yeah. Right. Uh, you can maybe cut the call by the grave for another Cosmic if you like really just get a back row. But I think at that point, I'd rather just main deck the Dusto over this and then just put the second Cosmic, I guess. Also. And oh, the third Cosmic in the side. Um, Would this deck ever play Prosperity or not? Because uh, you can't because the field spell. Oh yeah, it draws. My bad. I forgot about um, that. You can, uh, this was before Two Desires and a Duster. Um, Did you like Desires? Desires was, was the problem with Desires is that like if they do out your second Punisher, you have no grind after that. Yeah, you have to like you have to like activate Desires and then like you have to like off of your um, your uh, Jam Dragon Drive. You have to switch like Zayama instead of like Ogre, which feels bad. Um, like nine times that time, my end board is. Like you're making Jam Dragon Drive, bring back Zayaman, uh, make this, and then you're off of this. Um, searching one of these. You're searching Ogre in the combo. 
Where the fuck's Ogo? And then you uh, also, and you get in this card. And this is probably a one card combo, like that's just what you do is Yeah, you like you, you, you card, end with both right? of these, you end with like, a lot of times you're gonna like sync this as well into like something else. But you have like this, and then you have at least two disruptions. So they have to like out this card, you also have to like I get over, yeah. which like doesn't happen. Also. They have to out it by playing through a lot. That's why I also play this a lot, because like, you have to like, commit a lot of cards to out this card, and if you like pop a card that like, they commit a lot of resources to out, you just, it's better than the impom in my opinion. Yeah, I see Especially because Link Monster, because you like, you like, negate your in, uh, unicorn, okay, make access to it. Like, for example. I've beaten everybody in Yeah, that's the deck. Uh, buyout, Psychic and Punisher. Hell yeah, thank you for the profile. Yeah.